Hi, I'm Alex Taylor. You may know me as Malaguti Al if you're one of my YouTube subscribers. If you're not, um, maybe subscribe after this video, that would be a great help to me. In this video I'm going to be showing you this, which is my um, my homemade guitar, it's been my project for the last few months. Um, and for a long time I really, really wanted to make a guitar and I, I tried and I didn't fail as such, but I decided not to carry on because my attempt was so terrible. Um, and then I restarted the project a few months ago and this is what I've been left over with. Design technology is a real interest of mine, um, something I really enjoy and I wanted to combine it with my other favourite hobby which is music and make a guitar that would be one of a kind and unique to me so it would have my own sound and I, it's something I've always really wanted to get. Um, the school I go to run this thing called the Extended Project uh, and I found out that uh, I could enter this guitar for the extended project. So as I worked through, I researched, I developed my research, and then I um, created the product itself, uh, and I ended up getting full marks for it. So I thought I should do this video just to show how the guitar sounds overall. The guitar I've always really wanted to own is the um, Ernie Ball Music Man John Petrucci Signature, and I couldn't afford one, it's just too expensive for me. So I decided that I'd try and make my own not exactly copy the original, but use elements from their design, such as the um, the piezoelectric acoustic simulator system, which makes the electric guitar sound like an acoustic, which is something that's really nice, and also elements of the guitar's appearance, the access to the controls, which is really nice, and also the headstock design, which is something that I really, really like. I've also incorporated some of my own features. It has my own design for a piezo system. It's got a fixed bridge rather than a tremolo, and it's got um, locking nuts, as well as many other things, which I'll talk about later in the video. So I'm going to show you some sound demonstrations of the guitar. Uh, I'm going to talk about why I've chosen to do certain things, uh, what my reasons were, and how I think they feel to play. And you guys can let me know what you think of the sound and what you think of my work over the last few months. That would be great. So I hope you enjoy the video. For the recording in this video, I'm going to be using um, a Behringer LX1200H head through a Behringer 4x12 cabinet loaded with Bugera speakers. Um, I'm going to mic these speakers up with a condenser mic, which is an AKG C1000S, and run it into my interface and then into Logic. I'm not going to add any effects or process the sound in any way after it's gone into Logic other than adjusting the volume. Uh, so what you hear is how it sounds here in the room and how the guitar can sound live. The reason I wanted to um, take elements from the Ernie Ball Music Man JPX6 is because um, I think it's such an overall almost perfect guitar. It has um, obviously incredible sound and John Petrucci is you know, I think the most inspirational guitarist to me has really influenced the way I play, uh, music I listen to and actually what I play. Um, and so I wanted to take elements from his guitar because the shape of it is really, really beautiful and I also like the headstock design, I like the pickup configuration and also my favourite thing has to be the piezoelectric acoustic system which means you can go for having these massive um, high gain tones because the pickups are high output um, right down to these amazing clean sounds and you can actually simulate having an acoustic guitar from this. I also thought the guitar had so many unique features, I mean that's that's one of them, but it also had um, dual outputs, uh, so you can run two jacks from the guitar, which means that you can run your piezo acoustic system separately, um, or alternatively you can blend between two amplifiers at one time. Um, so I haven't set the, the uh, configuration up to be exactly the same as the JPX but I have used the idea of having two outputs because what I like to do is run it into two amps I can have clean and distorted or two distortions which makes it sound like you've got two guitars running which is a really nice way to fatten up the sound when you're playing live or recording. The pickup configuration and the control configuration on the JPX was something that I really liked. Um, I liked how that the switchblade in the original matched John Petrucci's style of picking and that he would pick down here um, and I, I have an unusual habit of picking around up here because it's just how I play. Um, so I like the fact that he literally just had to do this with his hand and he could change his pickup position. Uh, that was obviously the point of the blade switch but a lot of guitars I've found have had, to, had it in odd, have been facing in odd directions so you have to move your hand in a strange way to change between your pickups. Um, 
looking at the design template I got from Early Ball, which is just a wiring diagram, it wasn't actually a body template, the positioning of the switchblade was at quite an awkward angle, because if, I, if you were to be picking down here, switching like that in that direction would be really easy. But because I pick up here, I tend to move in that kind of arc, and so I um, adjusted the angle of the switchblade so it goes more towards that plane of the guitar rather than that plane. So that was my own little adjustment. Um, I have three volume controls. There's no tone control because I never ever see the point. Um, and so I've got the bridge pickup volume control, neck pickup volume control, and then the piezo volume control. Um, the piezos are activated by putting the switch into middle position, um, but you can share the piezo with either of the magnetics by using positions two and positions three. Um, which means you can get these blends of the magnetic and the piezo sound, which is something I really like. The piezoelectric acoustic simulator system uh, put into the JPX is one of my favourite things that's ever been put into a guitar. I just love the electric acoustic sound that you can get, and just the concept of um, if you use uh, electromagnetic pickups, they pick up bits of the tone from whatever material is used to make the body, but mainly what they pick up is the vibration of the strings, which is affected by what you make the guitar out of. But um, in using piezos uh, on the saddles, you pick up the vibrations of the guitar. So you really, you really capture the sound of all the different woods you use, of all the different materials, um, and it all uh, makes this image of the guitar which is transferred and gives it this acoustic sound something I really like and you don't quite get through um, electromagnetic pickups. Well part of my research was looking into the frequencies and how of uh, note frequencies and how they transfer through density of material and if you have a um, lower note that low note will transfer through a material um, more strongly than the high notes so I thought about maybe using a single piezoelectric transducer and mounting it in a place that the bass frequencies and the treble frequencies would match it, would reach it almost equally. So if I were to put the transducer there, I'd have got this massive bassy end where all the bass frequencies hit it, but the treble didn't quite reach. So I put it over this side uh, between the two pickups so that the frequencies from the lower strings will transfer into the transducer and the higher ones will also, and there won't be this massive difference, which will make it naturally equalise rather than having to use a circuit board. It just cuts through so nicely and really sounds like an acoustic guitar. Um, and that's really great because John Petrucci does things like the beginning of Count of Tuscany, which is one of their songs, the kind of... Um, you might know it. Um, he does this, when he plays in the studio, he obviously uses an acoustic guitar, but when he has to play live, he can't switch between guitars. So having this option means I can play live or I can, if I'm recording and I want to do a demo, I can just, I don't have to pick up another guitar with a mic, I can just use this to do the same thing. Um, with effects, it really can make a lovely sound that you can blend in with your guitar. I always like having a really good heavy tone. Um, my A string is the best for that because it's got active EMGs, and I like to have got um, the Dimasio Crunch Lab, which is in the Ernie Ball version of this guitar. Uh, but it would cost me £70 per pickup, and I wasn't sure how good the guitar was going to sound when I finished it, so I bought some cheap, uh, unbranded pickups. Um, and I put them in, and I'm absolutely amazed at how good they sound for the amount I spent on them. And I have a lot of trouble now in thinking I should, could upgrade them to the Dimasio ones, which I'd like to do. I, I don't think it's worth the money, because um, these pickups really do output well. Um, I've chosen ones with an Alnico Magnus, so they do have a high output, which is great, because when you put it into an amp, it means it distorts more and you get a really powerful sound. Um, 
so when I'm doing things like the riff from John Petrucci or Dream Theater's Endless Sacrifice, uh, which is one of their heavy ones, uh, it can really cope with this distortion uh, if you have a listen to something like this. The thing I do most when I play guitar, I think, is um, play lead. I, I love playing lead guitar. Uh, it's what I find most enjoyable. Um, and obviously when I built this, I had to bear that in mind. Um, so getting the action of the neck was really a big issue for me. Uh, I wanted to get it so the strings are as close as possible to the um, fretboard. But, um, I can show you a close-up of that. Um, but the closer they are, the, the smaller the distance you have to push them down, the um, faster you can play. Um, and I found that quite a challenge because getting the height of this nut um, and the height of the bridge um, in relation to one another was very difficult, um, especially when I've only got kind of amateur tools, although you know what they say, power bad workmen. But I'm actually very happy with the action on this guitar. It's really, really fast. Um, I can do anything I want to with solos. I don't have any fret bars at all, which is a really nice thing. Um, because it just means that all of the notes come out smoothly and it plays, I'd say, better than some of the professionally made guitars I've used, so that's something I'm really pleased with. Um, I'll show you a little uh, demo of one of John Petrucci's solos, which is Glasgow Kiss. It's um, more improvised by me, but the themes are there and you can still see the tone, um, what I really like. I love his um, pinched harmonics, the way they kind of scream out through the mix, and I also love the um, the way he can bring out those notes on the bridge positions which just cut through so much and um, just almost give you shivers because of the way he plays them and this is the only guitar I own that can actually do it. Um, and I don't know it's whether to do with the materials I've chosen um, or the pickups but it really does deliver um, which is something I really hope would happen. So if you have a look at this and you might be able to see what I mean. <laughs> 